Howdy y'all, we're going to do another quick Blender tutorial here um, in the way I, that, that I combine two textures into one shader for in this example bricks and a noise texture and I did this for pretty much the basis of every single one of my infinite builders link is in the description so this doesn't have to be the brick and the noise texture you can combine any textures this way as many textures as you'd like this way and if you like this I don't normally say this but by all means, like and subscribe. I'd be so appreciative. Shall we get to it? Oh, hello. <laughs> Apparently we shall when I find my uh, window. There she blows. So this is what we're making. We've got um, two textures, the noise texture and the brick texture. And we've got two bumps, one on the bricks and one on the um, mortar, I suppose you could call it. We're going to make this right now and hopefully under 10 minutes. So I'm just going to close that and I'm going to add a plane. I'm not going to tell you everything I do, I'm assuming you know most of it by now. And I'm just going to subdivide this one, two, three, four, five, six, and add a subdiv. Okay, so get yourself a shader editor, put a new material, where is it? There she is, those. And firstly we'll need shift a texture, a noise texture, and a brick texture, and just copy the noise texture and it might be useful to put them in this order to follow this brick noise noise okay these are going to that's texture a that's texture b this is the mask so to make the mask effective we'll need to add a color ramp so uh converter color ramp we're going to need a bunch of these so plop that in there and then i'll explain the concept of the mask so just bring the contrast really close together and just bring that um, scale down and then I'll do it and just make that very definite contrast so what this is going to do is where this is black it's going to display texture A where this is white it's going to display texture 2 to mix the two we'll need a shift A color mix color and again we're going to use a bunch of these and we're going to use this mask a bunch of times so if we just quickly put some color on the brick node because it will be much clearer when we plug it in and then drop the color into a the a input drop the factor to, uh, no that's yeah factor because yeah factor into the b and then control shift click this at the moment it's just a mixture of the two half and half but if we add the mask into the factor it will separate it as i just explained and there you go so now we've got the brick color here and we've got the noise color here. And just to give the noise color some color, let's just duplicate the color ramp, reset that and just give it some colors. And I'm going to keep it marginally brown again uh, in a, a type of more color way. Mm, that'll do. All right, so now we've got the color sorted. Now we just need to sort the bump and the displacement out. So, oh, no, I don't want to add them. So just to be clear, I'm going to separate the mask. I'm going to put that here so that we know this is our mask. Okay, so let's all add the bump. So if we add, and let's get, let's bring this all a bit closer, shall we? So I don't have to zoom out so much, but I do want to keep the mask separate. So if you shift a vector bump, and let's just take the factor from the brick texture, it's black and white information, that's what we need. We we'll probably need to invert it, but take the factor into the height and then plug normal, insert normal and control shift click your thing. Oh, also, here yeah, might be an idea. Take the color input from this, the two that we've combined and just drop that into the printer board in the base color. So now we've got the bump, which clearly does need to be inverted. We don't want the mortar sticking out, thank you. But we don't want the brick bump. We don't want the bricks bump here and when this is displaced the bump for that is pretty irrelevant but it's good to know how to separate them completely so we don't want this uh, bump texture here so let's make a new bump for this so shift a uh, no sorry just duplicate these two the noise textures uh, noise texture and color ramp and just reset that one again because again it's bump we just want black and white control shift click and then rack up that scale to just put 400 in so it's a really fine burn 
so if we just make a bit more space so again this is the this is the separate colors but we can use that information um, for the bump as well so if we take uh, so we need another mix color and then just duplicate that and just put it over the line that's going into the base color okay and let's plug this into B so again what we've got now is we've got a mixture of all the bumps we don't want a mixture so let's just grab our mask which we might need to invert I'm not sure we'll find out and plug that into the factor so again the same mask same concepts bush so because we're using the mask that this new texture is in the white because it's in the B port and our brick brick and mortar bump is staying um, in the black areas so that's why we get that and if we plug this into the bump so the combination we just made drop that into the height instead of just the bricks control shift click and there we go that's what we want we've got the brick bump but a different bump here which for some reason why is that coming out white oh because <laughs> i've made a mistake i've plugged that in here i've taken the wrong thing into the base color i want this just these two they, that should be in the base color that's why that's white doink okay so that's pretty much effectively what we want but now we've got nothing on top of the bricks there's no bump there but that's going to be clearer to see once we incorporate the displacement so shift a vector displacement which again is black and white information and i think we can just take that and convert what's coming out of here into a color ramp and make it black and white so let's just duplicate any old color ramp so again we're taking the color information that we um combined there and that is going to go into here and let's just check because no so what i need to do i don't want this anything that's white is going to um extrude anything that's black will well the, the more black the less displacement so this is going to make this stick out as well as the bricks they're almost the same shade of gray so i don't want that to happen so what i need to do is mix this again using this mask but with just black so that i keep the brick displacement that this will be black rather than this color and again we're just going to take a mix node so we just drop this into a and then we change b to black we might need an invert and again take the same output from the mask plop it into the factor control shift click perfect gosh no invert needed so if we plug this into so what we've just made what we did just make and plug that into height and then plug displacement into displacement how many minutes eight and nothing happens because even though we've got subdivisions we've got a subdivision surface in the material properties under settings surface where it says bump only displacement and bump and then just put the mid level back to zero okay there we go and what we can do is we can make some of these bricks stick out further just by increasing the amount of white that goes into it so i like the variation but i'm going to take the scale down to 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.6 okay so all we're missing now finally is the bump over the bricks that are still there so same old concept let's make a new bump so shift a vector at uh, note texture musgrave uh, grab a color ramp one that'll do because it doesn't need resetting drop that and let's just have a look at that so i'm going to make a uh, detail 15 dimension 0.2 so i just want this over the bricks okay so what we need to do um it does take some thinking so bump bump is here so this is what we're mixing for the bump i know it looks messy but we'll get there so this is our musgrave and we want to mix it with wait a minute why is that color bear with me right i've realized what i've done i don't know why but i'm allowing color information to come into the bump we don't want that so just drop a any old color ramp straight on that black and white 
boom. So we want to get this Musgrave over the bricks. So again, we're going to need to duplicate our uh, mix color that's going into the bump. And let me just think about this. Let's just put this into B. Let's just grab the mask, which is where this one. We can, if, right, if you shift and right click, you can combine them. So we know we, this is the mask right here. If I put, plug um, that into the factor of the new one, control shift click. So all we need to do for this, because we've got that Musgrave showing in the, uh, the wrong areas, is just invert the color that's coming from our uh, mask. So the black swatch switches, shift A, uh, color inverts, drop it in the middle, boom. Now, if we control shift click, we're done. I'm gonna just add some more subdivisions, three. Make it a bit cleaner and, oh, damn. And then I'm gonna add more detail. Remember, this is the mask. This is what's controlling all of this. So if we add detail to this, and a little bit of roughness, it just gives it that bittier type affair. And because this is all procedural, procedural, you can, um, in fact, this is very important. And we do add a texture coordinate, shift A input texture coordinate, and just drop this into from generated into every single one of these. Anything that's uh, an orange texture, just drop generated in because nothing changes because they're all using generated, but uh, that'll do. And lastly, this little chap. And the reason I'm doing this, um, in fact, no, leave, don't plug in the bumps. So don't plug in them. So you're plugging in the tech, the noise, the two noises and this one. And if you right shift right click on these three shift a vector convert sorry converter vector math drop it in the middle change that to scale now you can change it's all procedural you see so it's never going to repeat and because you've got control of the mask you know if you wanted small bricks but the mask is too too small and just drop the scale of that you see you want more bricks drop that or allow more bricks in by at taking less white, you see? And then you've got a pretty sweet material. Okay, cool, I'm not quite under 10. Uh, I tried, I hope that was informative. Um, I hope I hope that makes sense. I've, I've explained it as, as best I think I can. But all right, yeah, wicked. Um, we'll do, I'll do some more soon. I've been Nick, you've been you. I'll see you in the next one. So long.